All right, guys. Hey, guys. It's Tevin. Check this out. This is actually... I had no idea that I would actually love this car this much. This is the 2024 Jetta GLI. We really about to get into this. So this GLI actually features the same engine as the GTI, but it has four doors and it's a little bit bigger, a little bit sleeker, and, a, and it's just as sexy. You know what, guys? I want you guys to really just take a look at the exterior appearance of this G GLI. Check it out. Look at the wheels. All right. For starters, I mean, it's got this nice, beautiful aesthetic front grille. You know it's just not your normal Jetta. You already from the front, you know it's not. It's not overstyled, it's not understyled. Um, it's got great headlamps, it's got great safety features. I really like this white color with the GLI because it really brings out the black accents, if you, if you ask me. Um, I do, I love a white car, especially a white car that has some really nice accents to it. Check it out, guys. Um, also, I love the black mirrors. For stock rims on this car, I mean, these are really nice. And you got the nice sporty brakes on there too. You got the proximity keyless entry. Um, this car has already been started out for a little while, but it has a really nice cold start to it. Um, guys, I want you to check out the rear too as well. It's got the nice dual exhaust on it. Dooley dooley. You got the GLI badging on the front and the back. And then also, it's got the nice black spoiler, the nice lip spoiler. I really like that. It's got the black roof, black antenna, black mirrors, and the wide sunroof too as well. Um, the Jetta has been on the Volkswagen lineup for quite some time. If you And if you guys notice that the Passat has actually been removed from the lineup. But there's, I, I think I understand why. Because the new Jetta actually is about the size of what the Passat originally was. Um, check out the white paint. It looks really, really nice. Um, so we're about to literally get into it. Um, so let's check it out. I really love these seats. It's got a really nice interior in there. Check that out. Look at the side doors. Oh, once you to hear the door close. That's a nice German door. One thing I love about Volkswagens is that on the inside of the car, like you actually, the exterior, you, it has a really nice quiet cabin interior. Um, again, you guys know I love a nice steering wheel. Um, this is a beautiful steering wheel. The dash, it gives you options. Um, you guys can change what you want it to show on there. Me personally, I love to see the digital speed right there. Let's just take a nice, like, quick look at the interior. Let's admire this beautiful interior. Like I said, the steering wheel is really nice. And I really think the steering wheel is so important in a car because you make the most contact with the steering wheel than you do any other part of the vehicle. It's a really nice, spacious cabin. Check this out. The seats, the leather looks nice. Personally, I love when VW makes these wide sunroofs with this because if you want to open the sunroof but like you want to like if you live in an area like where there's a lot of bugs you know that comes really in handy and it still gives you some light but it still provides the the purpose of giving you some shade okay um you know i love to do a horn test so let's go ahead and check it out i like it a little bit higher pitched than the GTI, but it still serves its purpose. And it's, if, if you ask me, I think it's a little bit louder. Um, you got your banging Olsen sound system right there. I love it. I was actually taking this for a quick spin. This, I mean, the steering on it is, it's really responsive. It's super German. Gives me a little bit of Audi vibes. 
Um, I'm not gonna lie, like the interior of it a little bit, I kind of like it a little bit better um, than some of the Audis because you still have some knobs in here. And I, as, as much as I love the growing technology world, I still like some knobs. Um, this one is, even though it's an automatic, it gives you the illusion, the feeling like you got like a shifter, like a manual. Um, the, it, the transmission on this is super responsive. Um, don't need that much heat, but you got your dual zone climate controls. I like that here for it. Got your heated seats here for it. There's no one on the other side, or is it? Um, you got your heated steering wheel option right there on the steering wheel. Voice command, wireless CarPlay and Android Auto. Um, again, I like the fact that you have some knobs on here. Um, the sunroof, even the sunroof. We have a button for the sunroof. Thank you, VW. Everything does not have to be touch. Nowadays, I do like the touch uh, for some of the vehicles, like, you know, like the EV vehicles, I understand. But like for, for the driver enthusiast vehicles, most enthusiasts, they like to have some knobs. You got your push to start down here, electronic parking brake right here, auto stop start, and you have your drive mode selector. So right now we're in sport mode. You guys might be able to hear the, it's not so much of a cold start, but you guys might be able to hear you know, if, if I was the owner of this car, honey, let me just tell you, blow off valve <coughs> and maybe even change the exhaust too. I think that you could have so much fun with this GLI personally. Um, I really like the fact that it's got a subwoofer in here. It's got great acoustics, great sound system in here. Um, let me go ahead and move this for a second. Um, you got your xm radio in here too as well i like that um with this infotainment system you can see with drive mode you're in just from the top of it you got your custom eco sport and normal um and like i said whatever drive mode you're in you'll be able to see that at the top right there too as well um that they have the beats in here there's not many vehicles that actually have beats in it um I was listening to the sound system. It actually sounds really, really nice. Um, I gotta say, I'm very impressed. This is my first time in a GLI. And from the front seat of the driver's side, I gotta say, I love the dash. I love the steering wheel. These little accents right here, they're really, really nice. Absolutely love them. So let's go out. Oh, and I did I forgot to mention there's actually wireless device charging pad in here and two USB C's and you got your 12 volt right here too as well. I like the fact that they're not taking 12 volts completely out of vehicles. It's got a nice glove box in here too as well. Alright guys. Check it out. There's heated mirrors down here too. We're about to check out the back seat, guys. Okay. All right. So, let's hop on in the back. We got our plastic on our floor mats to protect them. Um, so I'm about six feet tall. Very, very spacious. Definitely the size of the previous Passat. Now, I just want you guys to keep in mind, I love to see, sit with my seat very far back. Um, I forgot to mention, there's actually three driver memory seat settings on this car. I like that. But... Like, even with the seat really far back, I have plenty of room. So, if your passengers are really tall like me and they like to be on that gangster lane, just so you know, there will be plenty of room. So, this is the view that your rear passengers will see. I'm here for it. Like I said, not overly styled, just enough. Um, It's got cup holders on the doors, got cup holders in the middle. Okay. The interior of it smells so good, so German. Um, now, the moment that I have been waiting for to see. I'm curious to see what this trunk looks like because the GTI has a nice trunk space. Okay, all right. Seats fold down. It's got a nice wide body to it. Okay, 
And you got the all-weather GLI match. Got the cargo blocks, first aid kit, and then roadside emergency kit. I love that Volkswagen puts this in a lot of their vehicles because a lot of people, believe it or not, do not have jumper cables. And it's something that I think that it's essential that everyone should have. There's a spare tire under here. And then there's also, that's going to be your beat subwoofer right there. All right. Um, ooh, everything sounds solid when you close it. Everything sounds solid. Um, I also wanted you guys to check out the lights on this car too, because as many of you guys know, Volkswagen is very well known for having some good lights. So check out the lights. Okay. Yup. And you know what else I love about Volkswagen, guys? Is I love the fact that, I've said this before in a couple other videos, Volkswagen keeps some of the design language that some of the other Germans, you know it's a Volkswagen. Volkswagen. All right, let's go ahead and check out the rear. Yes. Guys, I am a fan. I like it. This is my first time actually, like I said, in a GLI. I am very, very impressed. And for you guys that are part of the VW enthusiast community, I mean, I can't tell you to do this, but, but for guys that are part of the VW community, you guys can have so much fun with this car. You know what I'm saying? Like I know a lot of people that have a lot of fun with their GTIs, if you ask me. Guys, please let me know what you think. What do you think of this GLI? I'm here for it. I'm definitely here for it. Guys, if you have any questions about this vehicle, if you're interested in this vehicle, send me an email at the car business, the C-A-R-B-I-Z-N-E-S-S -S at gmail.com. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate you guys. We out, dog.